Launch Director Charlie Blackwell Thompson has called a scrub of the attempt of launch of Artemis 1 and the Space Launch System with the Orion spacecraft. It was a moment nearly five years in the making, but after multiple mechanical delays and lightning near the Kennedy Space Center, NASA scrubbed today's rocket launch. It was a frustrating disappointment for more than 25,000 NASA workers, dignitaries, and other guests who had gathered at the Kennedy Space Center to witness the historic moment. Thanks for being here, everyone. I'm Eric Connor. And I'm Netta Iramport, something we were watching closely yeah. as well. NASA will now have to wait a couple more days to launch its most ambitious lunar mission in half a century after they discovered an engine bleed with one of the rocket's four engines. Of course, the goal of the Artemis 1 flight is to propel a capsule into orbit around the moon. The mission will be a big step forward in America's quest to put astronauts back on the moon for the first time since the end of the Apollo program 50 years ago. NASA hopes to send four astronauts around the moon in 2024 and land humans there as early as 2025. Yeah, this is why they call it this ambitious project. Coming up here in just a couple minutes, Skylar Henry with CBS News live at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. He's going to have all the details on when NASA will reattempt that launch. In the meantime, local reaction is coming in this morning following NASA's decision to scrub the launch. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol live outside the Air and Space Museum in Balboa Park with more on that. Dana Marie. Well, guys, the big message today is NASA is back in the game. And what I did learn that this is not the first or last time a launch um, uh, postponement will happen. It's better safe than sorry. Now, I did take my questions to the director of the Air and Space Museum here at Bubble Park. He shared with me that what happened today was normal. The postponing of it is certainly acceptable because uh, these are really, really tough decisions, especially, you know, they've got a new, younger team. It's not necessarily unexpected that they might have some sort of a challenge that would push it off and delay it, uh, but I will tell you there were a lot of people ready to watch that uh, Artemis 1 go. Now we just heard from Jim Kidrick, who has a great sense of excitement in his eyes, talking about the upcoming three Artemis missions. Now today was supposed to be the first 42 day mission, which is unmanned and will go farther than any other spacecraft, says Kidrick. Now Artemis 2 is the second mission and it will happen in a couple of years. It will put people inside the capsule, but not land on the moon and then the third Third and final mission will have four people land on the moon sometime between 2025 or 2026. Now he explains what's next for the future of space exploration. Before you go to Mars or before you go further into deep space, uh, you're going to have to prove yourself and proving ourselves going to and from the moon, perhaps populating it, living on it for some window of time. So we're going to have to make a lot of a uh, lot of decisions. You know, this really is incredible. Kidrick describes this set of Artemis missions as the Star Trek era, the final uh, frontier of space exploration. So, of course, we're all anticipating the rescheduled launch of Artemis 1. And, of course, we'll keep you updated here on CBS 8 as they mostly happen in the morning hour. So stick with us. Any further updates, CBS 8.com. It's a great resource.